on Harry Reid and almost booted him out of the Senate. Almost booted the leader of the Senate out of the Senate. Please welcome a big Tea Party round of applause for Sharon Angle. Thank you so much. I'm going to get kind of serious with you. I came this morning from Reno, that's my home. At 6 a.m. we left and we got here to Napa. I'm so glad to be here in Middle Earth, <laughs> in Middle America with the mainstream. We drove up in the Team Hobbit Express. I think you get my drift because we're, we're taking a message with the Tea Party Express on this tour. The first message is to President Barack Obama. We're reclaiming America. Yeah! The second message is to Harry Reid. We're going to change the leadership of the Senate in 2012 by changing four seats, or 13, from blue to red. Yeah! And we're going to accomplish the, the purpose that I set out to do in 2010, and that is make sure that we make a difference in Washington, D.C. We are making a difference. Uh, we can tell that because of cup, cap, and balance. They wouldn't have introduced a bill like that had not you spoken up and said, stop, stop. Stop the spending. Stop the debt. This is not about taxation. This is about overreaching, overregulating, overspending government. Finally, we're going to send a message to Maxine Waters. Yeah! <laughs> the Tea Party is not going to hell, honey. No! We're going all the way to Washington and every state house in America to reclaim our nation. You got it! This isn't something that we're gonna we're gonna do by ourselves though. And I think most of you will agree that we need help. We need the same help that our founders had in 1776 when they made that declaration of independence. They knew that they couldn't do this without God. And we have a prayer that when we sing it, I don't think we realize it's a prayer. We need to bless God when we ask Him to bless us. And so I'm, I'm going to lead you a cappello here in our prayer. And I hope that you'll sing with all your heart and invoke that creator who gave us inalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Invoke his help in what has become a very serious, serious um, situation in our nation. And we want to see a turnaround to those constitutional principles that made this nation great. So, if you will, God bless America, land that I 